Well, the season of giving is upon <laughs> us, and for many in this area, that means packing shoeboxes. Yep, Operation Christmas Child Drop-Off Week is coming very soon, and the first day to deliver your filled shoeboxes to TV44 is Monday, November 16th. And a few weeks ago, we introduced you to a former orphan, Jackie Stewart. Well, today, Jackie gives her suggestions on exactly what to pack in your shoebox. And when I was six, my adoption completed, and God blessed me with an incredible Christian family. And my mom took me everywhere. If it was a tourist attraction, I was there. And, you know, being introduced to a whole new culture in America and experiencing a whole different lifestyle was incredible. And our church packed these boxes. And, you know, year after year, I'd be so excited to pack these boxes. And our school was involved. And I was like, yes, I get to pack these boxes and help orphans like me. And it was about 10 years later that the light bulb kind of went off. And I was like, Mom, these boxes that we've been packing, this is what made the difference. This is what made me realize that there was more than just an orphan life. And so she encouraged me to share my story and I've shared it locally within our churches and schools. And this is the first year I've had the opportunity to now speak on behalf of Operation Christmas Child, and it's just, I've always wanted to be a missionary since I was a little girl. So this is my way of being a missionary and sharing the gospel. Because as Ren Collective's song goes, it only takes a spark to start a whole blaze. The gospel opportunity, that box, is the spark. And the child learns about God. They tell their friends and families and communities and villages are being saved and you have places on fire for God. And so it's just been an exciting journey to see how God has worked his hand throughout my life. When I pack my shoe boxes, I am like a kid in a candy shop. I love it. You know, I go to the store and I'm thinking if I were to receive this box, what would I want to receive? And so my favorite color is pink. So most of my stuff is for the girls. So everything is pretty much pink. But you know, here in America, kids have so much. We have more than we need and more than we ever can use. And so it's hard for us to think, well, this box is all a kid is going to get when we're used to a Christmas tree full of toys and stuff. But in other countries, kids aren't like the American kids. And so I've heard stories how a stuffed animal has changed the life, how hair clips. And you know, it's just those small items that remind the kids that God's still there and those prayers are answered and these boxes are answers to prayers in kids' lives. The box, yes, we're receiving toys, we're receiving necessities and stuff that touch our lives within our needs that we're needing. But there's so much more than just a box of stuff. The gospel opportunity is brought into the kids' lives and discipleship that allows the kids to have a greater impact. So not only are they having earthly things, but the impact that it has is eternal. You can go on to SamaritansPurse.org and they have a whole list of suggestions as to how to pack and what to pack. You can pack a shoebox online so that's really cool, um, virtually packing. And so holidays are busy, and so you're still a part of the ministry, but it's a virtual. Uh, you can track your shoebox online, so you can eventually you'll receive a notification as to where in, within the world your box went. 